Mamas, boys. Sarah recently retired from her job of twenty-three years. Because she retired, Sarah has less money than she used to. She has no money for herself, but she has a problem. She has two sons. One is twenty-three, and the other is twenty-six. Both sons work. However, they both live at home with their mom. They eat her food and expect her to cook for them. They also expect Sarah to clean their rooms. The boys never do any chores at all. Also, they don't pay for food or anything else. In short, they're mama's boys. Sarah is sick of the situation. She thinks. They are those. They should be living on their own and not still living with the mother. I'm going to kick them out. During dinner that night, Sarah tells the boys, "It's time for you two to take responsibility. You can't live with me anymore. I'm not going to cook for you. I'm not going to clean for you. You need to grow up and get your own apartments." The boys are very upset. They complain. They rant and rave. You're a terrible mom. How can you do this? We're your children. It's not fair. The boys continue to rant and rave for fifty-seven hours without stopping. But Sarah won't budge. She tells them, "You have one month to find your own apartment." No more whining. Just do it. Then Sarah leaves the room. The next day, the boys come to the kitchen for breakfast, but there's no food. Sarah refuses to cook for them. She says, "You have jobs. Get your own food and make it yourself." The boys can't believe it. This happens every day. The boys gradually lose weight because they won't cook for themselves. Finally, on the twenty-eighth day, they look for an apartment. They find a two-bedroom for seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. They sign a one-year lease. They rush home to tell their mother. They're very excited because this will be their first apartment. They tell their mom, "We did it! We found an apartment. We're moving tomorrow." Sarah says, "I'm very proud of you. You're finally becoming independent." The next day, the boys move in. They have a big party with their friends. In fact, every night they have parties at their apartment. They're very happy because now they have their own place and they can have party all the time. Sarah is happy too because her boys are finally growing up.